first things first, the first thing you do once you're done, you sewn the back to your quilt, take a photo. Take a photo of it like this. And the reason why is when you turn this into me, I want a photo of how this looks with your backing because I'm also grading you on your example of balance. Is it radial? Is it symmetrical? Is it asymmetrical? So first I just kind of need to see it in total. You know, once it kind of turns into your pencil case, it's kind of hard to see that pattern. So I wanted to see it like this first. So take a photo, then decide how you want it to look. What I mean is I'm gonna fold it and I'm gonna kind of think, okay, this is my pencil case. How big do I want this little top part to be? Do I like that? How's the back look? What if I do it this way? And I give myself a really small top. How do I like that? You know, there's a, like my quilt isn't perfectly square. So like if we look at this one and we look at my other example, um, these are both very long and very skinny. But if I wanted to do the other way, It's a little bit shorter, like a baby bit shorter. And you have to decide, how do you want it to look? Also, do you want it to be pretty short? Now, again, I don't want you to make a burrito. I don't want you to make a burrito. So I shouldn't see any of these. because you're gonna include that button, that's gonna be our closure. So you wanna give yours also, if this is your pouch, you could probably fit like maybe a few pencils, a few pens, but it's not very deep. Like you couldn't put scissors in here. So I want you to give yourself, yourself a, good, you know, a good amount of pouch. And you still have this fold over pretty deeply. I'm gonna have mine a little bit taller. I like this way. Okay. So once you decide which way you want your pouch to go, you make sure that you have a little bit of that lip. Once you have your pouch, you're gonna need your fasteners. So bobby pin, paper clip, tape, anything you can get your hands on to hold it in place. You don't want it to be moving around while you're sewing. So I'm just gonna kind of put my bobby pin. Also, let me zoom in a little bit before I forget. When you fold it up, you wanna make sure it's in the line. It shouldn't look odd. And it should fold up correctly. You know, mine not perfect, but it should be pretty much in the same line as the rest of your quilt. Put this one right there. And then this one right there. So mess around with this, see how you like it. Yeah, I like it. So this is gonna be my pouch. It's all my pins. The next thing is we're not doing anything new. We're not doing a new type of sewing, a new type of stitch. We're doing the same one we've done before. You know, you guys know it, it's not unfamiliar. As always, that ugly fly knot. Every time we sew, every time you sew in general, you're always gonna have that knot that you kind of have to hide, you have to camouflage it. For us, we have the inside, 
right? And we're gonna hide it inside here. Now, when we sew, we're gonna be sewing the edge together. So just like we've done before, our needle will come out, then go in, come out, go in, out, in, out, in, all the way up. We'll just keep doing the same type of sewing we've done before. When you go to start, you wanna start at the bottom. You want to start at the bottom because it'll be easier to end at the top. Like I normally don't give you like you have to start here kind of rule, but start at the bottom because it's more open. And when we end, it's easier to tie the knot. So I got to hide my ugly fly knot. You know, we don't want that to show. And so I'm going to put my needle kind of down here. And we're going to be sewing along our border. Let's see. That's pretty good. I'm inside, right? Inside our pencil case. And I'll just pull that needle. I don't want any piece of the fly knot to stick out. So I just kind of push it in. Let it hide. And now I'm ready to go. What you want to think about with your stitches, again, just like with the border, how do you want those stitches to look? One option is stitch right on top of your old stitches. Stitch right on top so that way they'll kind of blend. They'll look the same. So you, like, if you look at this one, you can kind of like, some of them are pretty good. Some of them are a little off, not exactly stitched right on top, but close. One thing to know about trying to stitch the identical stitches, one side's gonna look good, one side's gonna look off. And that's, you know, we didn't sew them identical to start out with. So there's just, it's just naturally gonna happen. So for instance, totally off, kinda close, kinda close, not too bad. And then it just gets crazy sauce. Another way is you know it's gonna turn out different on one side. So just plan for that. So you could stitch, let's say you're stitching in between the old stitches. So now those, there's brand new stitches, kind of like how these turned out, where it's almost like a little line. Maybe that's what you want to do. Or make a pattern. Make a pattern with your stitches. I'm going to show you how to do this because it's a little bit trickier. Well, not trickier. You're still doing a running stitch, just in a different way. Instead of having your stitches go in a straight line, when you stitch, you can go opposite. You can go across. And I'll show you what I mean right now. This, to do a pattern with your stitches, it's almost like embroidery. It's making your stitches look, I don't want to say nicer, but just look different from a regular running stitch. The only thing, because some of you do care about this, um, this isn't harder. This isn't harder than doing this. It does take a little bit more time. You do have to kind of think about it because as you're pulling your needle out and putting it through, you know, I wanted to make sure that the front and back were identical. So I kind of had to watch where my needle went. You see, I got like a little cross, then a line. Cross line, cross line, cross line. So I had to plan that. Like I had to watch where my needle went in. I am not going to grade you on which one you decide. It's up to you. What I will be grading is that you have closed the sides. Like it's actually a pencil case. You decide. You want to go right on top? Do it. You want to go in between your old stitches? Perfect. You want to try your hand at making a pattern? 
totally up to you. I'm not going to, you know, this is, this is kind of difficult. It's a little bit, you know, different. Sewing the two sides can get a little bit challenging. So I'm not going to mark you down if you try something different and it's not exactly how you want it to come out, but you like it. Um, I care about it being attached. I don't want there to be a hole. That's what I care about. So here I am coming out on this bottom edge and I'm gonna do a pattern. Um, and, um, and I'm just guessing right now, I'm just kind of like making up a pattern. And so when I'm doing my pattern, like, cause I'm kind of making a pattern up. I don't pull my needle all the way through. I kind of look and see, okay, where's it gonna end up? And what am I gonna do next? So I'm kind of doing this little like crossover action. Okay. And that means this one's gonna go here. Okay, so I'm just like kind of guessing and trying it out and seeing. I actually kind of like it. Um, so you, you decide, this is still attaching it because it's still the running stitch. You're just not doing them in a straight line anymore. It's still stitching it all together. So I'm gonna go through very, very quick, very, very sloppy. because so I just wanna get to the end to show you guys um, how to finish it, how to end it. Don't do this. I don't want you going sloppy. Yeah, I don't mind what you do to attach. I care about how neat it is. The top has a lot of fabric. You know, when we did this, let me take this off. This part, this edge, it has that fabric we like folded over. So there's a lot. You just have to, you know, go slow. Take your time. Okay, so I'm at the top. You know, you guys decide again how you want your stitches to look. If you notice, if I do this, it starts to open up all those stitches. That's why it's very, very important to end and to do a knot. So that way this doesn't open up like this little accordion. We don't want that to happen. But our next challenge is, 
even though I'm making a smaller knot to end, I also don't want that to show. Like, I don't want to see that little knot here on this side. I also want it to be hidden because, you know, we can see it right here, but technically this is the inside of our pencil case. No one's going to see until we open it. What you want to do, whatever side you're coming out, you're going to go in, but you want to go in between the two. Basically, you want to get on the inside. You don't want to go to the top anymore. So I'm going to go in. So I'm even just kind of like pulling, pulling this corner down so I don't accidentally go through. I'm going to go in. Okay. I'm not going all the way through. I'm just going to go on the inside. And I'm going to pull. And now, now that my thread is on the inside of the pencil case, now I can find where I want to do my knot. So you could pick like one of the stitches, um, whatever stitch you're close to. I tend to always do the stitches I just made but you need to be careful because when you pull it, they open up and I don't, you know, you don't want to really, really loose end. You want it to be snug. So I'll pull it tight, right? And I'll just open it just enough to see that little stitch, just enough to see it. I'm just going to slide my needle underneath. Here's my loop, that's what I need for my knots. Go through the loop and then I'll pull, 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 tight, tight, tight. And I'll do it again. Slide my needle underneath. Ooh, I'm getting fabric. It's hard to not get fabric sometimes, so just try your best. Here's my loop, through my loop, pull, 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 pull. And then you cut it off. Be careful, do not cut it too close to the knot. You know, it's gonna be kind of the same thing, it's just gonna come undone. So now I have my little, my pouch. So you can't see the fly knot, you can't see, you know, the, the ending knot. And then you just do your other side. Not too hard. This takes a little planning if you want to do the pattern. That's really the only thing. You got to plan, think about it, how you want the stitches to go, kind of like watch where your stitches come out, that kind of thing. But it's not too bad. I like doing it. <laughs>